Come trying to get through. He held there by Humphrey. Humphrey Callahan and there's a brilliant, a brilliant to be taken by Morgan Hughes. Morgan, who is in position at the top of the left. Coming up now to take this one. And it's the first score of the game. Morgan Hughes on instead of the injured John Tobin getting his shot at the goal for the First time after 30 seconds of play and sending the ball over to make it goal by one point, Cork no score. And the 19 year old certainly doing well with that first kick. And Cogan's kick out for Dennis Long. Intercepted here by Michael Rooney of Galway. Kevin Joe Sullivan after him. Nicely blocked down there by Dennis Collins for Cork. Declan Darren and Ray Cummins in way. Blocked down by Jack Hosford. Jack going after, but Ray gets another one across the goal. Now the dangerous one got there by Willie Joyce for Galway. Willie being chased. He touched the ball on the ground as he fell there, and there's a free in for Cork. The tail on it to the left, but it's going to be kept in play. It's hit the up front, it's a goal! It's a goal! And uh, uh, Jimmy Barry Murphy! Jimmy Barry Murphy! And here comes Cork again. Dickon Barron beaten this time by Liam O'Neill. The head of Boris Burke out there in the far wing. John Cockton club for it. Gone back there to try to get it for Cork. Con Hartnett and the ball gone out over the line. Line ball for Galway. On the halfway line. Well, the two 19-year-olds have got the two scores of the game. Morgan Hughes at one end and Jimmy Barry Murphy at the other. Willie Joyce, the kicker of this. And the kick blocked by Dennis Long. This is Joe Waldron for Galway. Dick Rooney getting and is penalised. Dick Rooney penalised. They're playing away, the but the whistle is gone. The whistle is gone. Dick Rooney penalised there for pushing... Kevin George Sullivan as he was going onto the ball, and this free exactly the halfway line. Kevin George Sullivan to take it. Kevin George, who injured a muscle in training a short time ago, but reports fit and well for today's game. He's into the centre, and this is Dennis Collin from Dennis Long. Dennis Collin, a lovely one, and it's over the bar! Dennis Collin, the scorer of that one, his first score, by the way, in the championship this year, getting that one over to make it Cork 1-1, Galway 1 point. Dave McCarthy up now, and Dennis Collin coming out to the right wing. Back to Dave McCarthy. Nice bit of fielding in there by the Cork men and the ball gone up with the referee calling for the ball and awarding a 14-yard free penalizing Galway for holding there and this 14-yard free will be taken oh about 10 yards to the left of the goal on our right Jackson Barron to take it scorer from that one from a free and now Johnny Hughes for Galway and two Galway men testing together and the man who gets it is Liam Salmon, Liam looking for someone to pass it out to and he is fouled, no doubt whatever about that foul, John Coleman the kicker, or the tripper I should say and the kicker will be Jimmy Duggan What's inside the 70 yard line? That's the Cork 70 you see marked there, and the ball jumps inside. Leading the wing, Morris Foot getting up to it. Willie Joyce now for Galway. Into the centre towards Lean Salmon. James is called across the goal. Morgan Hughes going up for it. Jimmy Duggan with the foul, and Jimmy held and brought down. Down with a very spectacular tackle and a free for Galway about 16 yards out, and Morgan Hughes will take it. The 
is the kick. And it's over the bar, the second point for Galway, and it's scored as was the first by Morgan Hughes, the 19-year-old player who's playing at top of the left. The Killaloo man, 1-2 for Cork, two points for Galway. This is Mick Rooney. Into the centre to Jimmy Duggan. Jimmy now 60 yards out. Running on to Morris Burke now. Morris Burke cutting inside. A shot and it's over the bar. Morris Burke running onto that one very, very well. Getting the ball from Jimmy Duggan and sending it over the bar. And so after 15 minutes of play, Cork one goal and two points. Galway three points. Oh, nicely tapped down, and here comes Dennis Long. Toe to hand. Action all the way as he comes up the Ray Cummins comes out, tries to get it up. T.J. Gilmore is there to see that he doesn't. In there is Jimmy Barry, up along the right wing here. Brendan Curran and Jimmy Barry Murphy. Jimmy Barry with it. Back. He gets it back now to Jimmy Barrett. Jimmy Barrett, a curling shot. It's gone over the bar. Jimmy Barrett coming across from the far wing, getting that ball, and what a dipping, curling shot it was, getting it over the bar. That comes Cork again. And T.J. Gilmore, who was having quite a time of it, trying to keep up with Declan Barron, fouls him there, and there's a free in, which is going to be taken by Ray Cummins. Ray, standing back now. 35 to 40 yards out. Here's the kick. And straight over the bar. Another one for Ray Cummins, the kicker of threes today. His second point of the game. Another Cork man to get two scores in the game. And the scoreboard now reads Cork, one goal and seven points. To Galway's three points. But now it's John Coleman for Cork. T.J. Gilmore not getting to that one with Jimmy Barry. Murphy has it. Jimmy Barry outside. The 21 over the bar for yet another point. Jimmy Barry Murphy the scorer of that one. And Jimmy Barry getting a goal and a point of that total. One goal and eight points for Cork. Three points for Galway. Mick Rooney up along the wing to Frank Canavan who thought the ball was going to hop off his head. Frank Canavan fouled and there's a three in for Galway. In the last three and a half minutes of the first half, Morgan Hughes coming out now to take this three. And the crowd fairly hushed with the one-way traffic up to now. The referee gone in to have a word with the umpire. But here comes Morgan Hughes with the three now, and he sends it over the bar for a point. It looks as if he's boot that it wasn't and wound up hurling in and going over the bar for Morgan's third point of the game. And that makes the score after, oh what, about uh, 37 minutes of play. Cork 1-9, Galway 4 points and the Galway crowd getting a little bit anxious that it's about time something happened as far as Galway were concerned. And what's happening right now is that Dennis Collins sends the ball up to T.J. Kilmore, bursting his way through, bursting his way through. And still going on. Whether it's the crowd or what, I don't know. He's coming into the shooting position. He's on the 21. He takes a shot and he sends it over the bar. Oh, look at him. He's dander is up as he comes out after working his way up from his own 60-yard line to within 21 yards of the Cork goal. And that's the kind of thing that rises the team. Cork 1-9, Galway 5 points. T.J. Gilmore. Crowd now. And Jimmy Duggan, inspired by that move, getting that ball and coming up field, being chased by Dennis Collin. Still Jimmy Duggan. Now Jimmy Duggan recovering and sending it high and sending it over the bar to show the city of life in the West yet. The last three scores have been Galway. Jimmy Duggan, the scorer of that one, and that his first score of the game. The score now, Cork 1-9, Galway 6 points. Just over a minute left in the game. Why didn't all that happen 10 minutes ago, and we wouldn't have been yawning almost as we were for the last 10 minutes. Frank Hogan out into the centre of the field. And here comes Galway again. 
Frank Callaghan getting it from Willie Joyce and Frank going the straight through way. Frank Hogan trying to stop him. Frank out to the far side, going out towards Morris Park and Tom Hartnett. The Cork man with the ball and he gets it upfield. And here's Gilmore again. He couldn't do it again. He doesn't bother. He felt the high one downfield. Humphrey Kelleher, lovely feeling by Humphrey. Sturdy in there at fullback. Ball kept out. Willie Joyce. As if he couldn't handle the ball. Kicking the ball upfield. Dennis Long and T.J. Gilmore. I don't know what happened, T.J., but after being listless, he's come very wide awake. A man awake all the time has been Kevin Jerry Sullivan, who started off with a size, I don't know what, Jersey, but the sleeve has been stretched to about twice that size with the grab that was made at him there. Referee John Maloney looking at his watch. We do likewise, and there are a matter of seconds left in this first half on our stopwatches. This is Declan Barron, T.J. Gilmore with the ball on the ground, referee says he has penalized, he's penalizing him, and there's a free in, we're in extra time now, injury time, call it what you like, Ray Cummins to take the free, and this I'm sure will be the last kick of the first half. Already scored two points. Make that three. It's over the bar. There is the halftime whistle, by the way. Cork leading with the score. One goal and ten points. The goal weighs six points. And there's the throw in. The second half is on. And Jimmy Duggan with the ball. Right through the center. Tom Hart has fouled. And a free out. Some hot shake. Out comes the ball from Frank Coke. Jimmy Barrett now for Cork. And along the ground, T.J. Gilmore pushing it out. And the referee penalizing Dave McCarthy. I think it was for picking it off the ground. Three out, T.J. Gilmore to take it just inside the 50 yard line. Kick from 50 yards out, a high one, and towards the goal. Lovely bit of fielding there by Tom Hartnett. Out towards Ned Kirby and Johnny Hughes, the dead heat there, who's got it. It's the Cork man who's got it, Ned Kirby. Ned is fouled in the degree for Cork. Kevin Joe Sullivan to take it. Cork trying to win their fourth All-Ireland. The last one was in 1945. Leading by seven points at this stage. Kevin Joe Sullivan skips way up the field and the referee gives another field to Cork. So a bit of pushing there as the ball was dropping in and Ray Cummins gone out to take. Nine players have All-Ireland medals in hurling and in football. Ray Cummins, candidate for number 10 as he comes to take this kick. And there is the angle of the kick. Watch this ball as it runs. And it drops out into the hands of Jack Cosgrove, and Jack playing a fine, steady game. Out to Morris Burke. Morris can't quite get it up. Now it's Jimmy Barry Murphy out the field. Cross into the center to the in-running Dennis Long. Dennis Long has it now. A nice ball, but it has gone to the right, and it's gone wide. And the score remains. 13 points to 6, that's 110 to 6 points in favor of Cork. Four minutes on second half and no score so far in this second half. Even the center of the field is done by Willie Joyce. Frank Canavan and Frank Colton are having a little bit of uh, strategic 
struggling the Hershel replay. The referee deems that it is a free for Galway, and it will be taken by Michael Rooney from the 50-yard line. Nice staff kicking towards the goal. Grab now by Tom Nocton. Uh, not Nocton, it's Morgan Hughes. Morgan Hughes fouled in possession, and there's a free in dead straight in front of the goal, 14-yard line for Galway. And Morgan Hughes will take the three. And he taps it over the bar for a point, narrowing the gap, and that is his fourth point of the game. Morgan Hughes, 19 year old Morgan, playing at top of the right now, making the score after five minutes of play in the second half. Fourth one, 10 Galway, seven points. The Galway supporters trying to start a chance of Galway, Galway. And <laughs> Michael Rooney trying to make sure that Kevin J. Sullivan doesn't get to the ball. He tries, he succeeds, but uh, not within the realms of the rule book. Frank Hogan. A good three for talk just outside their own fifty. DJ Gilmore tipping it down. Comes now to Remo Neal. On the other sideline, Morgan Hughes keeps it in play. Being chased by Brian Murphy. Hughes going on, oh, a lovely ball across the goal mouth, and out comes Billy Morgan. Very nicely, piece of covering off by Frank Hogan as Frank Canavan was trying to get in. From the kick out, down this side of the field, Dennis Collin gets his boot to it, and it goes over the line for a line ball to be taken for Galway, just inside their own 70. Joe Walden to take it. Versatile player. Dean Salmon. In now to Morris Burke. Morris Burke on the 21, on the 14. A shot that is over the bar. Morris Burke putting that little bit of electricity into that dash through his second point of the game, but it could have been a goal. If it had been that little bit lower, but it was a very valuable point. DJ Gilmore. It's gone back, and it's nicely seen by Morris Burke. He's on the 21, he's on the 14, he takes his shot, and Billy Morgan saves it. And the crowd behind the goal, way under the pressure of excitement. Jimmy Duggan now. And the referee penalizes Dennis Fallen for a foul on Jimmy Duggan, and the three will be taken by Morgan Hughes. 40 yards out from the fourth goal. Nice ball, a stabbing shot right over the bar for another point for Morgan Hughes, his sixth of the game. Declan Barron. So, so nonchalant the way they're playing it now. Lovely bit of feed is there by Brendan Collins. Out to Willie Joyce. Willie Joyce all alone on the halfway line. Getting rid of it first time. Well up feed. Brought down now by John Coleman. Tug of war in there. Liam Salmon is coming up with the ball. He's got it. Frank Hogan is after him. Still Liam Salmon. And he is grounded. But definitely grounded. And there is a free in for Galway on the 14-yard line and slightly to the left of the goal. And Dean Salmon is down with a knock on the face there. One of the Cork men down some way back. And here comes Morgan now with his kick. And he taps it over the bar for another point for Galway, making that 11 points for Galway, making it 7 for Morgan Hughes, all from free. And the score now is... One goal and 14 points for Cork, 11 points for Galway. And one of the Cork men is going off the field. It's uh, John Coleman is going off the field for Cork. The substitute will check on arrival. This is Morgan Hughes way down the field now, on the halfway. Into Lean Salmon. Lean Salmon just grabbing the ball, almost missing, but getting it. Out to the wing now to Tom Nocton. Nocton putting inside, a low curling shot, and it is! It's not a save by Billy Murray. It's a goal! It's a goal! It's a goal! That is what the game was.
loves it. I know Parkman didn't want it, but the game wanted it. That is a goal. Billy Morgan down in utter disgust with himself out of the far side of the field. He grabbed the ball but didn't keep it out of the goal out of keeping it over the line. And Seamus Paulin is on the game for uh, the... Uh, Corkman at the moment, the score now, one goal and 14 points to one goal and 11. Cork leading now by three points and 27 minutes gone. Or in the 27, it's not, thank heavens, it's only 23. We've a bit more to enjoy. Give me Barry Murphy. Give me cutting across. Something setting all round the place, but not as many players as usual. Dennis Long this time. And nicely held in there by Joe Waldron. His kick knocked down. Seamus Collin, his kick knocked down. Joe Waldron under pressure, coming out with the ball. Taking it nicely from Morgan Hughes. It's come up 14 yards from his own goal. Very nice side stepping into the center. I saw a jersey pull there, but... Uh, the man who had it pulled got the ball and got it way up the field and that was Humphrey Kelleher. This is Johnny Hughes. And here's Frank Canavan. Frank Canavan 50 yards out. Two Corkman back three. And the third one, Humphrey Kelleher, felt it out being. This is Dean Salmon. He does his little bit of dodging through now. A lobbing ball in towards the former Billy Walker goes up to win it over the bar. A point by Liam Salmon from out the field. His first score of the game, but he has been very much the architect of so much of the play. Now only three points between them again. Cork 115, Galway 112. Ball loose now to Dennis Collin. Dennis Collin trying to get it back. And the chapter of slipping there. Give me Barry Murphy in possession now. Trying to bamboozle his way through. He's fouled by Brendan Cullen and there is a free in. Ray, the sharpshooter, coming to take it. in three points of the record for an All-Ireland final. Cork 117, Galway 112. And here's Morgan Hughes. Still Morgan out to the wing to Coley McDonough. Coley racing out to it. Brian Murphy out after him. Coley's got it now. Working his way through into the centre. A loving ball in and Billy Morgan in possession. Billy Morgan chest high to the ball and getting it out. Right for it down into the centre of the field. Donald Hunt. And Jimmy Barrett. Jimmy who seems to be everywhere. Right through the centre to Ray Cummins. Ray Cummins now up and on the way to Jimmy Barry Murphy. Jimmy Barry on the 14. What's he going to do? A goal! He may be 19, but he surely joins the football of mortals. Up now to Lean Salmon. Lean Salmon across into the centre to Tom Nocton. Nocton is shot. The clock down by the boot of Con Hartnett. Coley McDonough. Out to this side. And the ball gone out over the sideline. And it's a line ball for Cork inside their own 14. Four minutes left in the game. 23 points for Cork. 15 for Galway. And this is Coley McDonough. A shot and oh, a curling one, and well saved by Billy Morgan. Dennis Collin, but it's Jimmy Duggan who gets it. Down the hunt after him, and Jimmy sends a high one that goes over the bar. And the game has got to the stage now where a point by Galway is treated almost with a hush. And the score now is two goals and 17 points for Cork. One goal and 13 points for Galway, and we make it three and a half minutes left in the game. And all the patron saints of Galway, I don't think, could turn this one around at this stage.
Here come Cork again. Here come Galway again. Joe Waldron. Held by Brian Murphy. Dennis Long. Ned Kirby. Ned holding on. And deciding he's sent it up to the hole all alone. Donald Hunt on the 21 to 14. And he advanced at 14. Blocked down by Jack Cosgrove. <laughs> Seamus Paulin rooted the ball there. If there was only a point between them and Galway were be our cork were behind, he wouldn't be so nonchalant about that miss. But it went in his door so wide. Second cousin of Dennis Corner, who plays out the field for Cork, is Seamus, who had such a good game when he came on. I think he got a goal in the point against Tyrone. Kevin Gerrard Sullivan. Jimmy Barry and Brendan Collar and Brendan under pressure, getting his boot to it as quick as he could, out over the sideline. Dennis Long. Oh dear, oh dear. How confident, how elegant a team can be in the position like this. And Certainly nobody can blame Jack Cosgrove for the defeat of Galway. Jack out into the centre of the field and now back in come the Corkman, Frank Cogan, Seamus Corbin. Humphrey Kelleher has gone off the Cork team, by the way, at the other end of the field. Seamus Corbin dropping the ball in towards the goal mark and Jack Cosgrove again. Jack being chased by Jimmy Barry Murphy. Frank Cogan, he may be a right full back, but uh, right now he's about 60 yards from the Galway goal. This is Frank Canavan. Mitch Scannell in the game for Cork. This is Holly McDonough. Liam Salmon. A plastic that hits the... Oh, it's a 50, it's a 50. It hit the upright, I would say, and came back into play and was deflected out over the end line by Billy Morton. The 50, Lee Moni to take the kick. Frank Canavan. And it's another 50 off one of the defenders. As far as actual time is concerned, the time is up, but the referee may allow a minute or two extra because of the injury time. He did stop play a number of times. A short three there, a short uh, 50 that goes to Johnny Hughes. And Johnny Hughes scores the goal. Johnny Hughes from that close three has scored the goal. But the only difference it makes is that it makes the scoreboard a little bit more respectable from a Galway point of view. <laughs> and here's Joe Walden. Joe Walden coming up the field for Galway. Where did it go? It's a Clifton Caron. All the balls spring off when he joins his boot. Back to Dennis Long. Dennis in towards the goal mouth, and it is Jimmy Barrett. And he got a goal. He got a goal, and the referee has allowed the goal. The crowd coming in, storming in to Jimmy Barrett, and uh, I don't think the final whistle is gone. The crowd are in to cheer off the yes, it is. It's gone now, all right. The referee has said, what's the use? He blows the whistle. Time is up. Cork have won the All-Ireland. Three goals and 17 points. The goal away two goals and 13. The last kick of the game was a goal scored by Jimmy Barrett. Our captain, Kirky Billy Morgan. The <laughs> 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 <laughs>